Welcome class of HC. Like this video on your way in and comment present in the comment section below if you're here to become the best version of you. Here are the four benefits of fasting. First, accepting yourself. One of the great benefits of intermittent fasting is that it will help you accept where you are in life and why you are there. Although it is often seen as a great way to diet, it is also a great way to help you acknowledge who and what you are at the present time. This is because fasting helps to remove the excess that you consume in a day and encourages the opportunity to come back to square one or your natural state of being, unencumbered by the influence of surplus. In a literal sense, by reducing consumption, you give yourself the opportunity to face yourself as the bare you, free from aspects that you attach to who you are. This is why, although fasting is seen as something that is done with your diet for physical health, you can also fast spiritually and even mentally by choosing to remove certain elements from your life for a period of time. A spiritual cleanse will look like making the conscious choice of avoiding certain people and circumstances that trouble your spirit or leave you feeling uneasy. This means to overtly exercise your right to abstain from things that leave you feeling confused or that have you questioning your self-worth, for a period of time at least. While a mental cleanse would look like consciously taking a certain amount of time off of social media or media as a whole for a period of time, this fasting or cleansing will help you to accept who you are because it requires coming to terms with what you are before going through the actual process of fasting in the first place, which is always a great start on your journey to becoming your best self. Second, choice. Fasting is a great help to making firm choices and sticking to them. Although in theory, fasting may sound simple, it is usually a period filled with temptation and desire to do other than what we have already promised ourselves that we would not do. For example, let's say we are fasting from food for the day. In this time, your mind will probably have you feeling hungry the minute that you wake up, just because it knows you should not be eating. And throughout the day, that may be the day that is filled with the most enticing food advertisements and suggestions as well. However, by abstaining and staying true to your commitment, you are training your mind to know how to resist and essentially how to make a choice and stick to it. Because when you are fasting, you are spending the day resisting temptation and circumventing offers to do other. Fasting can then be thought of as literally exercising your brain and training your willpower so that you are able to make tough life choices going forward. Simply put, because you are able to resist your bodily urges when you choose to, you will be able to resist even stronger temptations when they are coming from external influences. Fasting is a great way to help you make choices in life because it reminds you that in order to succeed, sacrifices need to be made. Third, clear your mind. Fasting is a great way to clear your mind. Because, as stated above, it encourages coming back to your homeostasis, or your natural state of being. In a dietary sense, it is important to assess that the foods that we eat have a significant influence over our thoughts and how we feel about ourselves. Think of food as literal fuel, and think of yourself as a supercar. If you feed yourself with the lowest quality fuel, although you will eventually have a full tank and be full, what you consumed is likely to clog your engine and have you running very poorly. Yes, it does do the job of getting your tank full, but in return, your functionality is diminished. A lower octane will put extra stress on the engine and its components. This is the same thing with your body. By putting low quality foods in your body, your mind is likely to incur stress and fogginess. Choosing to fast will give your mind and body a chance to empty and clear itself of the potential damage overeating and poor eating has caused even if for just a period of time. That window of clarity is likely to encourage better choices going forward because although everything was once a blur, you can see much more clearly now 
with the help of fasting. Finally, it helps you remember why. Fasting helps you to remember why you are on this journey by shredding your thoughts and feelings to its bare state. This is because with fasting, you are hitting a reset button of sorts. You are emptying your vessel, figuratively or literally, so that you will be able to refill it with what it needs to function optimally on this life journey. When you are fasting, you are consciously avoiding what you deem as negative or non-essential for your growth, and this process is expedited because you are ridding everything that you can to then absorb the right things. Remembering what you are fighting for will encourage you to keep fighting or for you to consciously make the choice to stop fighting. On the journey to becoming the best version of you, it is easy to become satisfied with being good enough or reaching what we would accept as far enough. This is like climbing a stairwell of 50 steps and then at the 30th step, looking back and feeling accomplished of how far you have come because no one you know has ever reached the 30th step and then becoming complacent with that achievement and choosing to stay there instead of continuing to climb forward despite not having much left to climb. Fasting will knock you back to your senses and help you make the choice to either continue going up those steps or to consciously make the choice to stop going up altogether. Fasting will help to remind you that you are fighting for something that is important to you or you're just fighting because you got used to fighting. And ultimately, just remind you why you are doing what you are doing, which is likely to give you the slight motivation needed to continue to grow forward on your journey to becoming the best version of you. Thanks for your attendance. Before you leave class today, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you here next time on Howa Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.